Good job, Jack. And fucking really good, bro. Really good. I fought the best of them. Use the best so far, you know? And I'll give you tips. I'll talk to you about things later. Devin Haney seemingly tries to take credit for Jack Catterall's victory after picking him, which really makes no sense. But I'm going to break it down and give you my thoughts. But first, let's get into what was said. Now, I did a breakdown. Make sure you guys check that on the channel. Jack Catterall beat Regis Progray. I thought the right person won, of course. It was via decision. And Jack Catterall is pretty tricky. You know, he's a tricky, subtle. It's not like he does anything that's glaringly obvious or really no special effects. But it works for him. He's a worker and, you know, he has the basics down, got some good training in America in the Mayweather gym and he puts it together. So credit to him for more on the actual fight. Check out the card at the end of this video. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I broke down the fight. Particularly this video, I'm just going to give you guys some glimpses post fight. Devin Haney, he took to social media and he says, quote, I ruined Regis Progray. Devin Haney continues on social media and says, and I beat him worse than Jack Catterall. Regis is just bitter. So the reason he's saying this is, as I said in my full fight breakdown, that post fight Regis Progray said full credit to Jack Catterall. He was the better man tonight. He says, I laced him up and I've been in there with the best meaning he's fought Josh Taylor's of the world and the Devin Haney's and, you know, Zorilla's and all these guys that he fought, you know, in the World Boxing Super Series tournament. And he said, I can honestly say that Jack Catterall is the best out of the bunch. Right. So that's why Devin thinks that Regis is bitter. Right. So I'm going to get through this and then I'll give you guys my thoughts. Now, the thing that is very bizarre that Devin Haney is almost claiming credit for Jack Catterall's beautiful work and patience and his victory is one. It has nothing to do with Devin Haney, in my opinion. But two, Devin Haney going into this fight says, I'm picking Regis Progre this weekend. Now, his dad, Bill Haney, publicly went out and tweeted that he believes that Jack Catterall will win. So I find that pretty ironic that you have a father and son duo. The father's picking Catterall and Devin, who fought Regis, picked Regis only for him to now say that he, you know, changed Regis's career. So that's what they call hedging your bets, because you pick him if Regis Progre would have knocked out Jack Catterall. You would have been like, see, I was right. I told you that Regis would win. Then when he pretty much gets dominated again, check out my full fight breakdown and loses to Jack Catterall, then now the world already knows you picked him to win. So you have to come up with something. So now you hedge your bet by saying that you destroyed him and ruined him. This is for so many different reasons. This is just unnecessary from Devin Haney, in my opinion. For one, how are you going to say that you are the sole cause of why he performed like that? Yes, you were his last fight before the fight with Jack Catterall, but usually guys who ruin other guys are guys where, you know, a lot of times big punchers like guys face a Deontay Wilder and they may never be the same, like Bermain Stavern, Dominic Brazil. I remember Dominic Brazil, when he came back, he ended up fighting and he fought against Otto Vilene. He just really did not look the same, you know? And I really feel like Wilder has that type of effect where some guys fight him and he's never the same because Dominic Brazil clearly looked different in that particular fight to me. But Devin Haney is not necessarily known as the biggest puncher, but he's trying to claim credit. To be honest, I was at the Devin Haney and Regis Pro Grade fight and Regis, he's always had the same almost flaws that he hasn't really sh like sewed up, right? 
the his feet and his footwork needs help and his legs look pretty stiff he wants to be awkward but so much so he's he's being awkward to his own disadvantage i mean i guess if you're right there in front of him then he does have power and he's a southpaw so it might work but against anytime he fought like a trickier boxer especially if they had a little bit of uh power even though like i said devin is not the biggest puncher devin also come in so much heavier than regis prograde to the point where he broke the california state athletic commission's variance they don't want you to go over like 15 percent variance from what you weighed in at the fight weight so you can't really even compare your performance to jack catterall the only commonality is the fact that you guys both had hometown advantage when you fought regis progray but to me it did not appear that jack catterall had some significant size advantage versus regis progray so he pretty much outskilled him and earlier in the fight he wasn't even being super aggressive he was looking to counter and take his time and he was almost a little bit timid so to me jack catterall won in a completely different fashion than devin haney devin haney rehydrated 25 plus pounds again breaking the california rehydration you know what they advise for rehydration safe rehydration right so he had a massive advantage on top of being a good fighter when it came to regis progray jack catterall didn't need that right he just kind of out skilled regis progray so again as i've stated i didn't really see a new regis progray this looked like the regis progray we've always seen right and again for devin haney to claim credit like hey i ruined regis progray you have to know your boxing history before Devin even fought Regis Progre. Regis Progre looked terrible in his first fight with Eddie Hearn in rematch room at home in New Orleans. It too fair, baby. I said, I try to tell that little boy. I'm from Apple and Eagle Street. You heard me, right? He had a New Orleans hometown fight against an unknown name named Zorilla and they ruled it a slip i believe but he got dropped in the first round and zorilla was boxing him and made him look terrible so much to the point where myself and others believe that regis progre actually should have lost that fight but you know politics it was his first fight new deal with eddie hearn he just signed a rematch room it was a rematch room card and then they gave it to the hometown guy but if we're being honest, Regis really lost that fight. So again, considering that Zorilla made Regis Progre look bad, even though he got robbed before Devin even fought him, how can you take credit for that? And then Regis Progre before that had already lost to Josh Taylor. So I don't really see how in this given situation between Josh Taylor already beating Regis Progre in the World Boxing Super Series and then you know, he's fighting like Ivan Red Cash and a couple other guys after that. One guy on PBC and then the Zorilla fight. The Zorilla fight, I do believe, gave the Haney's confidence to even fight Regis Progre because they looked at probably Regis Progre as a lick because there were many vulnerabilities that were shown in that Zorilla fight. One, the guy wasn't like this huge experienced you know floyd mayweather guy where he had this crazy resume and he really worked regis progray over and had him looking pedestrian so to be honest i think that's why for their first fight at 140 the haney's even chose because of what danilito zoria what he did at home it was supposed to be a hometown showcase fight for regis progray and then zorilla he you know he came to fight he came to fight and he is really a guy who to me showed the flaws a lot of like from a boxing standpoint showed a lot of flaws in regis progray's game and this is a guy who only had one win coming off of a loss to arnold barboza before he fought regis progray so what i mean is regis progray by the when he faced him everything was against him 
he only had a tune up against a guy with the 21 17 and two record and then before that he had lost to arnold barbosa so again he had one win since his barbosa loss and then he took a major tune up and won that fight in the first round so it was like a no hoper and then he fought regis progray but he did very well with regis progray and i thought he actually beat regis progray so it looks a bit weird for devin haney to try to claim credit for what jack catterall did or quote unquote ruining regis progray's career for me i seen regis progray with the same faults that he always had kind of relying on power wild and trying too hard to be herky jerky i mean it's just the same thing and he hasn't improved that's why he's talking about like potentially retiring and bare knuckle like he's relying on the same core and his his corner didn't really give him good advice from my perspective again check out my full fight breakdown his corner was saying stuff like after he just got hurt and dropped two times badly in a round to jack catterall they're telling him to go after him how are you going to send your fighter to go after someone and they may not even have their legs and might not even be situated from the previous round nine so that looks weird the other thing that looks very peculiar to me is that devin haney is talking about ruining anyone's career and fighters and fans alike are saying ryan garcia ruined devin's career you know i think ryan has a greater case of like really damaging someone's career quote unquote ruining someone's career than you saying you outboxing and dropping regis progray ruin his career you know what i mean like ryan really stopped your trajectory like you had not looked that crazy and got dropped and needed like a long count to recover and stuff till you fought ryan garcia because the lomachenko fight was close he got hurt but he didn't get dropped so i think it sounds a bit bad and like i said in the first video breaking down jack catterall and regis progray fight a lot of devin haney's wins have not aged well they've aged like milk rather than wine and i i challenge anybody in the comment section to prove me wrong lomachenko i mean what has he done since he fought cambosis who was coming off of maxi hughes performance where cambosis should have lost and then now he's talking about retiring and he ducked tank davis and besides that people a lot of people thought that haney possibly lost to lomachenko so you look at the other fight jojo diaz what you know what did he do like it didn't age well end up getting knocked out by oscar duerte losing pretty much every other fight since devin haney um you look at cambosis after the devin haney fights he still looked the same i thought he lost to maxi hughes gets stopped by lomachenko none of these wins have aged well at all and it's funny because the haney at crybabies they're gonna get in the comment section crying like oh ego that's not fair but i promise you they won't prove me wrong checkmate